This is my unboxing for Birchbox and Ipsy for January 2017. So I'm gonna try to do this every single month. I subscribe to both of these, they're both $10 beauty boxes. Both give you great products and so every month I'm gonna unbox them together to see which one has the better deal and better value, which one I just like better. So I'm not gonna do a written review for this because it's two boxes and one review and so I'm just keeping this a YouTube exclusive. So. Ipsy ships in this hot pink bubble mailer. Birchbox ships in a box. When you subscribe to Birchbox, you're gonna be able to pick one of these sample products in your box. I'm always busy and I always get a ton of emails, so frankly, I always forget. Um, you can also pick the curated box each month as well, but for the last few months, I've just kept the regular um, random box of whatever. So, I think. Yeah, we'll find out what I got. So first we're gonna start with Ipsy. It's a cool bag. So the theme is Metropolis and here's the bag. Very cool, like a mesh kind of look. Very unique. All right, here's a look at everything in my bag, so. Just gonna get started. Ciate, I think that's how you say it. It's been a long since, long time since I've had French. This is, what color is this? London Gelology Top Coat. Oh! So you put this over your regular top coat and it makes it look like a gel polish. That's cool. Something very usable. I have like 300 nail polishes, so I'm glad it's something pretty unique. We have Manicadar in Paradise Blush. So here's a look at the blush. Here's a swatch. I love the color. I think I might even have it. I'm not sure. I have a, quite a few Manicadar products from boxes, but I like it nevertheless. All right, this is hard to see with the glare. Jelly Pong Pong Lip Scrub, Coffee and Coconut. Okay, be perfectly blunt. That sounds really gross. <laughs> it's okay, coffee and coconut, but let's take a look. I mean, it's a lip scrub, so I'm not eating it. So, so that's what it looks like. It looks like a normal scrub. It actually smells good. I mean, I, as I said, it sounded gross, but it smells like sweet. Maybe like some brown sugar in there. From Naked Cosmetics, this is Desert Sunset. Here's a look, it's like a mineral eyeshadow. I'm gonna do a swatch for you. All right, so here is a look, and you could use this as a highlighter. I mean, if you use it really sparingly, um, and depending on your skin tone and all of that, but it's a beautiful color. I love it. And you might be able to like combine it with like some Vaseline, turn it into to a like a lip gloss too. I, I'm I'm just in love with this color. It's like a pinky bronze color, a lot of pink. I love it. And I also like this is like an open pot, so it's much easier to get. Like some of those like shaker mineral eyeshadow containers are so hard to get the product out. And the last item. So this is from Ipsy. It's the L34 Blend Beauty. Really nice brush. Try it out. I love the color anyway. You can't go wrong getting another brush. And that's everything in my Ipsy bag. This is pretty awesome. Um, this may be one of my favorite Ipsy bags that I've received. Um, everything I will use. So that's everything. Final look at that. Um, Birchbox kind of has a lot to um, live up to. So let's see if it can do it. All right, ships in this box. Let's do it on the sides. Let me get this thing open. Here's the actual box. Hello, 2017. Now again, Birchbox is $10 a month. They used to have this really awesome purchase. Uh, point system. Now, I think you get some points when you sign up. There are some good deals. Um, 
I think you get a free box with a longer subscription and I'm not actually sure what all the current deals are. So I'm going to put those all down below. I'll find out what's still working and let y'all know. All right. So here is an information card with everything in the box and it tells you um, the full size amount for each item. Let's try and see what we got. First item. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day um, PhD Dry Shampoo. Full size sells for $22. This dry shampoo actually cleans hair using fast acting powders to soak up oil, sweat, and odor. Um, I might try this. I've never had very good luck with dry shampoos because I have almost black hair. So like any of those white powders and stuff just look really bad um, on me. So we'll try it. I don't really like dry shampoo though, to be perfectly honest. All right. Oribe, a pre beach wave and shine spray, full size, retails for $22 to $39. This delivers beachy textured waves, plus it hydrates hair and boosts shine. Um, I actually got a keratin treatment recently to have straight hair. So I won't be using this at least for a while until that um, kind of wears off. So that's kind of a miss. That's starting off too hot. This is Derma E Hydrating Night Cream with Hyaluric Acid. For all size, retails for $29.50. Made with antioxidants and hyaluric acid, this cream nourishes and hydrates skin while you sleep. Well, that sounds good. I'll use that. Um, I can always use another kind of night cream to try out. It has a nice texture. It doesn't really have a scent. I mean, maybe, maybe vaguely, but I mean, you know, nothing, nothing really obvious. Like a fresh scent. From Coastal Scents, we have a blush and bronzer palette. Coastal Scents does make some really nice products. Um, I love their eyeshadow palettes. And I think they're, you know, just as good as my Urban Decay. Okay, this is a little magnetic thing. So we have these two little colors. I do like that this bronzer is a very light color because obviously you see that I am pretty light. Like a peachy blush. And there is the bronzer. Again, very light. Almost could be a highlighter. Um, yeah. It's pretty good. We have a foil packet. Oh, okay. Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic To Go. Exfoliating Toner Pad. These exfoliating pads are pre-soaked in a facial tonic to tone, brighten, and remove dead skin cells. To reveal healthier glowing skin, use morning and night after cleansing. Hmm. And that is everything. Um, this would be bad if... I had five items like I think typically you're gonna have like five you know each of them each birch box and ipsy have five items I mean the last I paid attention if I'm not correct me if I'm wrong um so like this foil packet's one of my items which honestly is kind of lame um birch box was a miss for me really um there's like two different hairspray things and I don't really need two hair products in one box um so i don't know they just seem to include a lot of dry shampoo i've never received so many dry shampoos in any other subscription box other than birch box um i like the subscription but like i said this box is just a miss of everything i'll definitely use the the night cream the blush and bronzer seem you know decent um the blush is a little peachy and i'm not you know i really don't do well with peach tones but we'll see i mean i can um i have another peach one that I have that that does work so we'll just have to try it out um and that bronzer like I said isn't very bronzy but you know I am a pale so eh. overall just not impressed so I mean this month it's an easy decision I mean hands down no contest ipsy blew it out of the park um and like I said I'm not going to get a chance to do a written review for this to compare values but I mean I know this is full size that's full size this is full size and these probably are full size, I I would think. This may not be, I'm not sure. Um, you know, this is a pretty decent amount. So they might sell like a small size of those products. Uh, so for value, product selection, everything, hands down, Ipsy's winning this month. So if you're interested in subscribing, this kind of gives you an idea what you can expect. Again, this one is, Ipsy's very much color cosmetics. And Birchbox is skincare, hair care, those kinds of things you're not going to typically find 
many um, color cosmetics. This is kind of a rare inclusion, um, having that color cosmetics in there. Sometimes you get like a lipstick and that kind of thing. But overall, Birchbox is skincare and hair care. That's why I subscribe to both because I do like getting a mix of different ones. Birchbox just happens to not be very good, at least for me this month. For someone else, this may be a fabulous box. Let me know what you think. I like hearing your comments. Um, would you get which one do you think won out of mine? Let me know. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Okay, so here is everything in my box. And I just found the pink pin in the bottom of my box. I'm kind of hiding under the tissue paper. So that's what it looks like. There you go, kind of wrote on the tissue paper. Just a pink pin, very cute. So I got the pink pin and the pencils. Four beautiful note cards. I really enjoyed the subscription. Really pretty cards, and you can customize them to whatever occasion you want. If you want to subscribe, all the information is below with all the deals and everything. I'll have a full written review. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.